Lake Country Growers is a company who specializes in CBD that's uh, more of a holistic approach and uh, solutions for families that are looking for um, health solutions for their families, for kids, um, adults, mature um, grandparents, things of that nature. We grow our own product. Our, in our first year we grew 22,000 plants, which you can see there in the banner behind me. Um, and we extracted, we contracted that to have that extracted and then we use that extract through um, in our products um, all of our products actually. We have gummies, we have tinctures, we have chocolates, we have um, topicals like lotions, we have the bath soak. Um, our most popular, the most popular way for people to buy our products is through the gummies. That's kind of a more of an easy, comfortable and convenient way for people to consume the CBD. Uh, we also have oils that are also, I guess, pretty popular too. Um, but the, the, the gummies tend to be the most popular, as well as we have a topical, our relief stick, which is our top selling product. How'd you get into the business? Uh, well, that's a funny story. <laughs> um, I got into the business because my, my now business partner, Rebecca Ramage, her uh, family was very involved in the hemp industry in Iowa. And coming back after a Christmas vacation, we got together um, over New Year's Eve and we got together for some cocktails and we're, she was telling me about her break and how she was talking with her brother who um, worked for the Hemp Coalition in Iowa and did a lot of, you know, talking with uh, in, in the legislative side and I was really, really interested and my family, one of my family members had had a really great experience with CBD oil um, with, on his health journey and so I, it was kind of like happening all at the same time. So her conversations with her family, we kind of came together and she said that she was thinking about starting to grow and starting a, a hemp business and I said, well, if you're up for it and you want a business partner, I would be. I'd love to do that. And so our families kind of came up with the idea that we would uh, combine forces, and so we created what's called the Farmly. So that's her family and my family come together to work on the farm, and then we started our Farmly together. What are some of the more difficult things for you from an operational perspective when it comes to running the farm, growing the product? Well, obviously, you know, managing time and um, hitting, there's a lot when you go from seed all the way to the bottle. There's just a lot of different processes that you have to control and meeting deadlines and making sure that our inventory levels are where they need to be on the retail side. Um, so yeah, supply chain issues, you know, obviously, you know, you hear that a lot now, making sure that we have all the bottling that we need and all the components to that. So yeah, I would say managing right for us right now, managing the demand of the products and keeping up with that. Do you guys use any sort of automation on the farm? No, we don't. We do everything by hand. So we do um, kind of more of an organic approach. So we hand planted the, the, um, the, the plants into the ground and then we, when we, uh, we cut them all down individually and then we hang them up and dry them. So we, everything is like old school farming practices, um, hanging it up to, in the barn to dry and then we get maybe 50 kids, teenage kids, um, and they all shuck the product and it's kind of put music on and it's really, it's kind of old fashioned farming. Did you, uh, when you were entering your career, did you ever imagine that you'd be in an old-fashioned farming, farming startup? Uh, never in a million years, actually. <laughs> so Rebecca and I always joke, um, she's the, she actually grew up on a farm. She was, um, uh, grew up on a, uh, a hog farm. And I grew up in a city, and I raised my family in um, inner city Milwaukee for 18 years. So we always joke that she's like the city girl, uh, I'm the city girl and she's the country girl, and then we come together and. So we both have strengths, you know, in, this, in any good business partnership. So I never in a million years thought I would ever be doing anything like this. Among your product, your product line, what's your personal favorite? Um, I really love uh, two products, our natural, or ex excuse me, the pure uh, lotion that we have. I use that as uh, to manage like skin breakouts. Um, I like, love that one. And then our relief stick, uh, working on the farm and just working out get sore muscles or tendonitis. I, have, I struggle with tennis elbow, and I love that relief stick to put on as a topical, and it really just hit, provides instant relief. It's great for headaches, migraines, things of that nature. What are your thoughts on the state of legalization in Wisconsin? Well, I think that it would be great, um, you know, if we can move in the direction of, you know, having it be legalized. Yeah, I think that that would provide a lot of relief, especially um, medicinally for a lot of consumers um, in, in uh, Wisconsin. And we've seen that it be seen that it's very successful in other states. 
and I think that it could really be helpful to people in, in numerous ways. Do you like the size you're at now or are you guys looking to grow? Um, we're looking to grow. Um, you know, we're, we've, we've been having uh, healthy growth over the last three, four years of business and we intend to keep, keep growing. Um, when you talk about supply chain issues, are you talking specifically about packaging, labeling, something? Yeah, it's more the packaging because we do all of our own, um, you know, we're mostly in-house. And so we order, like, for example, for the jars, for the gummies, like making sure that our, we always have to be looking out way down the line, making sure that we have the lids and, you know, so that we can get through the, the demand that we have on our products. You know, making sure that the packaging is all... We like things to look a certain way with our product line, you know, or the brands, the way that the image comes off is very important to us. So we don't want things looking helter skelter. We want things to look streamlined and very professional. That's one of the things I noticed initially uh, was that you guys obviously take great care with your, um, your branding. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your approach to that? Yes, I'm gonna give my business partner major props on this one. She's incredible. So uh, when I say that we do, we do as much as we can in-house and my business partner, Rebecca Ramage, she um, takes the lead with all of the branding. So um, she makes our flyers. Um, she comes up with the vision of how the, the business is supposed to look. And she's very, very, very particular about labeling, the way things look. And we got, we, we just, we like, have excellence in all of our branding and she does an amazing job so she does all the the flyer design the images the the logo I mean everything she's amazing um, is there anything else that you want to make sure the cannabis equipment news audience knows about Lake Country Growers um, I was just I would like people to know that we're a family friendly business and so if there are members of people's you know in your family that you're you know curious about CBD and you're maybe a little bit nervous because you're not sure you know, if it's going to be the right fit for your family, we'd love to educate. We are really big into education um, and we're happy to just share information with consumers if they just want to learn. And we understand that they may not be ready to buy right then and there, but we are here for them when they're ready and we're happy to be a part of that process.